I'll give it up. Women in tabs are few and far between, so I don't know whether to be terrified or aroused. Like, there's a chance that she could spank us. There's a chance that she could turn us inside out. Maybe a little bit of both, but I think we're just gonna give her the Hobbit test. We'll put down 2,000 worth of Hobbits versus 2,000 worth of possessed nun and see what happens. Maybe she'll... Okay, yeah, face down, ass up. That's the way you like it. <laughs> Reasonable, they've entered spanking position and jumped her. And suckled on her. Oh, okay. Um, she doesn't appreciate that. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That game that used to be about out-strategizing your opponent on the battlefield, you know, bringing a rock to a stick fight kind of thing. But lately, we've been spending a whole lot of time remembering the nostalgic moments of this channel by having characters that we all know and love slap the piss out of one another. Now today, I have found some stuff that's unrelated to my channel, like units that I don't fully understand how they exist in the game. I don't know how somebody managed to make them, and it just blow my mind, so we're gonna get to that. But first, I wanted to check out Captain Sauce Epic Gaming References Campaign, because apparently it features the likes of Battle Cats, I Am Bread, and that game with the schoolgirl was riding around on the talking eggplant god. I feel I should really remember the name of that game, but in all reality, I probably suppressed the memory. We'll start things off with a level called Return of the Bread, and I'll be damned, that is a half dozen slices of bread. Like when I was talking about those units earlier, this isn't quite what I meant, but it's along those lines. Like I, I just, I don't understand how this is a tabs unit. I can't imagine how somebody managed to put this into the game because I don't think it was made. It doesn't look like anything that was in the unit creator already, so some people are working magic. Well, we've fought painters and halberds a million times before, so I'm not really worried about them. I'm more so wondering, what does bread even do? Like, other than make me happy. I just don't know what to expect here. We could try turning them into toast. That seems pretty on brand. If anything, it'll be kind of like a, a baker's battlefield distraction. If their objective is to become toast, then their objective can't be to kick our ass. And if anything, we might be a, a little bit excessive with the dragon fire. Oh my god, look how cute they are when they waddle. Okay, I guess we're not gonna see that with the excessive dragon fire. Oh, um, we didn't manage to toast it. We just pissed it off. Now it's proceeding to kick our ass. Okay, um, ladies, you might have your hands full. That's not good. The dragons all got walloped, and now we're left with, I mean, not what I wanted. My goal was to have warm, buttery toast, not a cold bitch sandwich. So what exactly is the deal here? Like, did bread get a huge confidence boost since the last time we saw it? Because now, all of a sudden, it's about self-positivity. Things, I don't need to become toast. I'm already perfect as I am. And if anybody tries to change that, then I'm just gonna have to tear them to shreds. Or slices would I guess be more accurate. I think we should try the exact opposite this time. What if we freeze the bread? That usually stops it from becoming moldy. Maybe it'll also stop it from becoming angry? <laughs> Not sure if I follow my own logic here, but possibly. We might also want head butters and possibly a brawler or two. I need some melee units in the front because I, I think those painters can dodge projectiles. Yeah, something like that. You guys just make a big dog pile in the middle and we will turn down the heat. Uh, guys? Not quite working as I had hoped. Oh, I, I guess we're kind of getting somewhere, then again, so are the enemy. They're inching closer and closer to us. I should have known that the bread would move unpredictably, flopping around. <laughs> you see, the problem with the ice archers are you can quasi-freeze an enemy, y you can make it feel a, a little bit nipply, but then it can just thaw out or not die. Like, this guy's moving at the speed of smell. And because of that, we're gonna keep trying to shoot him while being given a bread enema. Speaking of bread enemas, I'm pretty sure <laughs> this guy is deep in the process. 
<laughs> God damn it, why is bread so difficult to beat? You know what, I think that's enough screwing around. I've got a whole bunch of levels that I want to see, so we're just gonna shoot them. I know it's not nearly as thematic, but bullets are usually the easy way out, right? Or not? We fired, what, a baker's dozen worth of shots there? We killed three painters, two halberds, so a 50% hit rate. That's pretty friggin' bad, guys. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, there we go. We're angering the bread, possibly crippling it, but if we can just take them out, I would be able to live happily ever after. Okay, yeah, that, that's the unpredictable movement that I was worried about. Thank you. Why put Swiss cheese on your bread when you could just turn your bread into Swiss cheese? Guys, come on. I love bread as much as the next person, but why are you bowing down to these doughy overlords? Like, we've got the neighbor from Hello Neighbor, and Jobbot, and Tempbot, and Cuphead, and Octodad, and what I assume are gonna be a whole bunch of pastry peasants. But the good news is, it seems like we get Captain Sauce and Jacksepticeye on our team, because the level's called the Captain Sauce Jacksepticeye collab we need. Like, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of insider information as I come up with a strategy for beating this bread, but like, YouTubers typically only collaborate with their friends, or with people they know, because you know, it's a very intimate process. You need to really know somebody's sense of humor, you gotta carry a conversation. Like, just because I have subscribers doesn't mean Jacksepticeye knows me. He knows me about as well as he knows you. So I don't see that happening anytime soon. And to be honest, it'd be the same way for me. Like if somebody with 10 times more subscribers came to me and said, I want to collaborate with you. I'd be like, no, I don't, I don't know you. It'd be weird. <laughs> that being said, I would collaborate with Jacksepticeye because he's a friggin' legend, love the guy. But I don't think that's a thing. Right now, we're just gonna have to settle for the tabs collaboration in the hopes of overthrowing bread. So far, so good. Usually we would try to poach an egg, but in this case, I'll make an exception for this doughy overlord. No, this is bad. This is not going according to plan. That being said, okay, I got Judas to buy Jobbot yet again. It's all on you now, Jack. You gotta take out Cuphead. We've all seen that exact scenario play out in videos before. If you want to support the man who's helping defend the world from the carbonation, go to CaptainSauceMerch.com. Some hats and hoodie sizes and colors are sold out. They'll be restocked in a week or two, but it's like I told you guys earlier, you definitely don't want to wait for holiday shopping. You can get a shirt like this one. Maybe more units isn't necessarily better here. Like, we could try a couple of jousters? Can I say speed is key without somebody telling on me? I, I really don't want to get copyright claimed. I know that would never happen. Wow, my jousters are not speedy right now. What, what, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> you're traveling around like you're sightseeing. Come on. Oh, okay. They're making a lovely mess of things all the same. They managed to run over half of the army. Now we've got uh, the two bots. I think the neighbor is still alive. Crap. Okay. Good punch, Cap. You got that. What the hell? <laughs> he can quasi fly? Okay. It's a 2v2. Me versus, uh, it's a, it's a 2v1. Come on, Jack, pull it together for me. Avenge me! You could take out Jawbot, I know it. Just, just don't rub your arse against him. What the hell? God damn it, I hate your guts. The barrel rollers did a pretty good job clearing up all the shields, so we're gonna go back to them. I also want to put a couple of dead eyes in the back, because the enemy has a whole bunch of very specific characters that could use a bullet in their CRT faces. That leaves us with 500 bucks. <laughs> Damn it, man. Why is everything so freaking expensive? Okay, we'll, we'll go with uh, 10 halflings, which I, I guess would just be five wholelings. I'm not sure what the math is there, but Hopefully that makes a big enough difference. Can you snipe bread, please? I know that's an odd request, ladies, but I just need you to hit your target. Hit anything at this point at all. It really feels like Jobbot and Tempbot are killing most of the pastry peasants, which is good. Jack is up front, he's breakdancing, he's taking most of the brunt of things, and the snipers should be able to pick off the remaining characters. Octo dead down, that's what I'm talking about. Just, just, oh, okay, yes, yes, snipe him. Yes. 
<gasps> oh, it feels good. I, I I haven't played Job Simulator in, what, years? I still hate him. Moving on to a level called Tom Sauce and the Garden of Love, where the gardeners seem to resemble an army from feudal Japan, and Tom is obviously sticking his nose and probably pecker into somewhere it shouldn't be. He's surrounded by floozies who need to protect him. First things first, I really don't want Tom charging into battle, so how about we put a banner bearer right down in front of him? Like that? Yeah, then the whole orgy can just hang out back there in safety. We'll let the Greek gods take care of things. Thor's got this, right? He shouldn't jump down that hole. Not saying he won't, but you never know. A couple of barrels to take care of all the samurai, and then the poachers should be able to shoot everything else. I think that's pretty good. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we might want to watch out for the fireworker. Oh, he jumped down the hole. Really? The one thing you had to do was avoid the giant squ- All my units are jumping down the hole. Okay, um, Tom, I got bad news. You might need to fend for yourself. <gasps> oh, you gotta be kidding me. What does Tom even do? Oh, okay. He's uh, got like Cupid arrows and firework arrows. I don't think those are his though. Oof, oof. Okay, yeah, that, that's a problem. The banner bearer is uh, swinging for the fences now, which means you could always join in and uh, make that monkey king love its duplicates. Oh, this is the exact opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm thinking we may need to strategize unit for unit. So just trade off everything until all that's left is Tom. So if we want to take care of the samurai, then we can use the kamikaze barrel rollers. They did a pretty good job the first time around. If we want to take care of the firework archers, we could use our own samurai. Put a couple of them up here, a couple of them over here, then they should be able to close the distance and cut them to ribbons. They might be able to even get to the ninjas as well before the Monkey King ruins them. If we want to get rid of the monks, then we probably want a ranged unit. Maybe just something simple. Something like an archer. Just stack them up here. And then the Monkey King will get killed by Tom. We all live happily ever after. Fingers crossed. There we go. That's the explosion I'm looking for. No, no. You're not supposed to march towards the middle. It was a pretty clear-cut strategy that you were to go for the archers. All right. Well, that kind of ruins everything. But, uh, oh, right. I forgot we've also got all the floozies. Yeah, a whole bunch of peasants coming in is not nothing. They should help quite a bit. Can we maybe shoot that monkey king? He's my main concern. We can win a fight against everything else eventually, but he is absolutely ruining us. Yeah, all the archers don't seem to understand how to cross a bridge, but they do know how to explode, which is uh, problematic, to say the least. Seeing a bunch of dead enemies. Oh, okay, so if we could just get over... Tom, Tom, you know what? Tom, take control. I'm, I'm taking control. I, I have to do this. We're just gonna duck and weave, and then... Ah, there we go. Fall in love. Fall in love. Give him smooches. Oh, oh you can't hit me if you're smooching. There we go. It's consensual, I, I promise. Yes, their eyes locked from across the... Whatever this thing is. Ow, ow, okay. No, they're rude, rude, rude. <laughs> Go back to smooching. I'm sorry that I'm not culturally aware of what you would call this, but I am the winner. Moving on to a level called Septicai Farm, and it's probably for the best that I read that before introducing things, because I would have guessed Moldy Testicle. You know what, I'm not even gonna ask why there's a whole bunch of Vikings showing up to what I can only assume is an Irish organ farm, but I, I do have to use the barrel rollers again. I know I'm leaning on them a little heavily today, but like, when your enemies are that compact, how can you not? It it's just a, a freebie. <laughs> I could use the rest of my money on maybe an interesting secret unit, something a little bit bigger, like uh, ooh, a couple of solar architects. Yeah, we don't see much of them, and they're pretty good against compact units as well. I like it. So anybody who isn't blown up will get uh, fried. Oof. Okay, yeah, you see, barrel rollers did a whole lot of damage, and I guess the architects did as well, because I, I want to say that that boat is going to go discover the new world, 
Pretty sure that's what flat earthers and people in the 16th century assumed, but uh, right now I need to be more concerned with the eyes crying poi- Oh, septic, of course. <laughs> Please do something. Come on, now, uh, that, that's not you, that, that's them. Come on now. What are they doing? Come on, septicize them, damn it. You know what, the barrel rollers did a really good job there, okay? It was the eyes and the architects that were complete wet farts. So I'm just gonna replace them with a Gatling gun. And that even leaves us a little bit of money, so we could also get ourselves uh, a couple of jesters to spin kick our way to victory. Even though I'm not sure there'll be too many units left to kick if these barrels manage to get in and go off. Okay, not quite as good. We only triggered one of the boats. And a bunch of the brawlers are still up. Fortunately, wooden shields, not great against bullets. Bullets, a whole lot better than toxic stairs. There we go. See, once he gets his momentum, there's just no stopping him. I, I think the Gatling gun is probably my favorite unit that's been introduced in the last year or two. It, it's just, it's unique. It's really effective. It can be countered, but it's also somehow not managing to kill the guy wearing a bear pelt. If he's angry, that shouldn't make his nips Kevlar. What are you doing? I get it, okay? He's cornered and he's finally dead. Well, there's something you don't see every day. It's the actual cat base from Battle Cats and we need to defend it. Ooh boy, I have a whole bunch of cats to choose from. Okay, uh, let's get a couple of regular cats in the front. Oh my God, they're so round. I really like this. Racer cats? How did people manage to make this stuff? I don't get it. Ninja cats? They actually look like the units from the game and not like Tab's units in the slightest. We've got dark cat? Oh, I ran out of money. Ooh, okay, yeah, we'll go with the weakest cats first. A whole bunch of meat shields against the meatiest unit in Tab's. Okay, that that's a bit of a problem. Look at them. <laughs> That's amazing, uh, you know, until they get turned into cat jam underneath Snuffy's hoof. They don't have hooves, do they? Pretty sure they just have like really big flat feet. Why am I questioning what Snuffy's feet look like? My cat army is getting smushed. <laughs> ah, crap. The ninjas really did not do a very good job ninjaing their way around. Yeah, they're, they're all getting shish kebobbed. And now what? You guys all go for the cat base? I can't exactly fire the cat cannon right now, can I? This sucks. Is there anything I can do? C can I ask God for help? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, oh, I can fire the cat cannon. We, we, we just wiped out a whole... I should have fought next to you. That would have been a whole lot better if I had known. <gasps> okay, well, we'll live and learn. A little friendly fire going on. I know it's kind of difficult to get around Snuffy's thickness, but when he's trying to breed with my base, then what is happening right now? Okay, cat cannon is firing. Didn't do a whole lot. I think we could have easily defended this if we just hung out in the back. If we didn't move forward because we actually killed Snuffy with just the stupid base. Is this thing invincible? Actually, we may not have killed it. I think they killed it and then us. Okay, well it's good to know that we could definitely have them screwing each other over. So not only is the cat base surprisingly powerful, but we can actually use a couple of them? Okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem particularly fair. So maybe this circle means that my units won't move forward. I would much rather just have them chill out. We get uh, a couple of ninjas, and then we need damage dealers. Necromancer cat, sure. Samurai cat, sounds good. Cat Eastwood? I don't remember you. Oh, okay, it's on a wobbly horse, interesting. Can't get any of the most expensive ones, but I, I suppose we should get more meat shields, something like this. Okay, and now don't move. Everybody hold your ground. We're gonna make them come to us. And then we will be ready to fire the cat cannon. Okay, everything is fine. Hold, I know that horse really doesn't want to hold, but hold, keep firing. This is actually kind of working, I'll be honest. The horse is, God, somebody skipped his ADD medication this morning, I'm telling you. Okay, yeah, now will be the time. Now, go fire, fire everything, release it all, do, do something. Damn it, they're just gonna stand and watch, no. 
out. Okay, I think I think we're doing okay because uh, you managed to break free somehow. They jostle you out of it. <laughs> Probably for the best. You know what? I'm fine with this wobbling. Oh, we got hit by a boulder. All right, all right, yep, that, that's a bit of a problem, but I want to say that the Snuffies aren't going to be able to survive. They had a hard time trying to breed with one cat base. I get the feeling if they have a couple of them wedged between their taints, then uh, it might be all right. Wait, the cats are meowing. Did you hear that? Just hearing a lot of smushing now, but I could have swore I did. Did you meow? <laughs> Pretty sure I heard a very strong meow. And we lost. This is gonna be really difficult, isn't it? I was about to say we should move on to some of the interesting individual units that I've downloaded, which believe it or not, aren't all called a grizzly bear. I don't know what the hell is happening right now. So these are my local units. When I go to the downloaded tab, it's just a bunch more local units, not the stuff that I downloaded. And every time I hit download, it makes a new grizzly bear. And I don't know why. What is this thing? Uh, yo, this is a really cool unit I made a while back. LOL, blah, blah, blah. Wait, what the hell? I think I've just found the strongest unit in tabs because it won't even let me delete this shit. What do you mean no internet connection? I I'm on Captain Sauce merch right now. I could buy a shirt like this one if I wanted to, but I've already got one. So <laughs> I have an internet connection. Why can't I get rid of this bear and look at my other units? It's now the following day, as you can probably tell from the fact that I'm wearing a different shirt from CaptainSauceMerch.com, and it's still not working. Like, I don't know why, the lovely people at Landfall don't know why. I get the feeling it may have something to do with those super cool, mind-blowing custom units that I spoke about earlier, and that they could actually be modded units. Downloading a modded unit from the workshop when you don't have the mods just kind of takes a fat dump on your game. But fortunately, I still have some cool stuff to show you guys. So this is a unit called the Possessed Nun, which doesn't look like a whole lot on the surface. But the thing is, I've very rarely seen eyes like those in Tabs units. Like even the entire evil faction and the Lord of the Underworld have regular Tabs eyes. The only unit that looks like that is the Dark Peasant who is the strongest unit in the game, which is slightly concerning. I'll give it up. Women in tabs are few and far between, so I don't know whether to be terrified or aroused. <laughs> like, there's a chance that she could spank us. There's a chance that she could turn us inside out. Maybe a little bit of both, but I think we're just gonna give her the Hobbit test. I'll put down 2,000 worth of Hobbits versus 2,000 worth of possessed none and see what happens. Maybe she'll... Okay, yeah, face down, ass up. That's the way you like it. <laughs> Reasonable, they've entered spanking position and jumped her. And suckled on her. Oh, okay. Um, she doesn't appreciate that. <laughs> this is actually really interesting. So she may look like the dark peasant, but she isn't necessarily as strong, which is a good thing because it's like I've said, a lot of the times people make custom units in this game and they're just stupid. They give it every ability. It can't actually be used in a battle because then the battle isn't even close, but she could have some weaknesses. You know, we could avoid her prayer circle or her sodomy hole, whatever you want to call it. And ranged units are actually effective. You see, that's a powerful unit that could actually be used in a campaign or challenges or stuff like that. I really like it. Next up, we've got a unit called Huggy Wuggy, which I think is from a new game called Poppy's Playtime. Is this Poppy or, or is it Huggy Wuggy? I haven't played it. As far as I know, it just looks like another Five Nights at Freddy's, but I've included a Hobbit for scale just to show you guys that this freak is like three stories tall and kind of looks like somebody tried to microwave the cookie monster. He also costs $166,000, which I'm just gonna assume is a problem. Like, I'm gonna have an army of anime girl uwus, and that's not me, that's what they're actually called, okay? It's a bunch of high school girls with M16s, I think. How many of them am I gonna need for $166,000? Well, I'll be damned. Child labor is incredibly cheap, especially for the military. Okay, I, I, I think that should be more than enough. You could take down this guy, right? Oh, oh, the Hobbit. I forgot to remove him. That was 
supposed to be for scale. Did he just moonwalk himself into a tree? <laughs> Dude, that's a little underwhelming. I'll be perfectly honest. Oh my God, it's so many bullets. It's just straight up ruining time. Okay, um, consider me unimpressed thus far. Uh huh. Okay, ladies, did we get him? What's happening right now? I am so confused. <laughs> we won, but it doesn't feel like we won. How about we try a map where it's a little bit more difficult for him to escape the scene of the crime? I I'm gonna have him fight against poop. I'm not gonna be able to get $166,000 worth of poop. I mean, let's be honest, who could? <laughs> this isn't exactly a Taco Bell convention, but we should be able to make him slowly run away. Is Huggy Wuggy Poppy Poopy not actually a fighter? What's your deal? You're freaking out. You're trying to run away even further. Dude, you look terrifying. Uh, you could probably eat some of these. Okay, maybe not these guys, but you could eat a regular Tabs unit. <laughs> You're gigantic. Why are you trying to flee? I don't get it. Maybe when they close the distance, he'll open up, release his inner rage, or... or Scream at them? Was that a scream or was that a fart? What, what is happening? Why is it that half the units in this game are broken and the other half are more broken? I think our last unit for today, which will hopefully actually work, is gonna be Cat Girl, which I believe is just a typical woman wearing ears and gloves and a tail and a tick curtain. I don't know why, but I just had this sudden overwhelming urge to go look for a Bob Barker unit, but then I realized the workshop still doesn't friggin' work, so we're just gonna use Samurai. If I put down a thousand bucks worth of Samurai, then Catgirl's got some, uh, some real quick moves. Okay, so she can just, like, one and done trained warriors? <laughs> She's wearing track pants, how does this happen? All right, then she's slightly stronger than I had expected. Maybe we'll move up to slightly beefier boys. We can get some monks on the scene. We've got $2,500 worth of them. So she should be outnumbered two to one in both value and units. Not units, that would mean there would only be two and a half monks. Okay, math is hard, especially when you're trying to figure out why a lady in a cat costume is turning your army inside out. This is insane. Is <laughs> oh. That was right between the cheeks. You didn't need to hit her in the kitty hole. What is wrong with you? Okay, maybe you should. You know what? Maybe you should smack that kitty hole before she smacks you back. I, I don't get it. How is this lady so friggin' strong? This is gonna be my last attempt to try to take her down. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of other women who are trained in Taekwondo, and I'm gonna get 10,000 worth of them. Is that too much? I don't care, actually, come to think of it. I just want to see Cat Lady get kicked. Oh, that was, I didn't even get the chance to say anything. Okay, well, I guess our mission was accomplished. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys, which was a real experience to say the least. Holy crap. I, if you guys wanna see me actually download some of these mods so that I can use some of the units that I haven't actually shown you but are really cool, just leave a like on the video. Leave a comment letting me know you wanna see more tabs and then maybe I'll return to kick cats again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.